hi guys welcome back to another video so for today's walking challenge i am going to walk the entire amity park in kuwait and there's some cute animals we're gonna feed there and just enjoy the beautiful kuwait winter weather yalla let's go So before I head into the park, I'm gonna get an iced Americano with no sugar at this coffee truck here. Thank you. Bismillah. Well, well, well. Looks like we've stumbled into the drama-filled world of YouTube weight loss challenges. Strap in, folks, because this roller coaster is about to hit some wild twists and turns. So we've got our protagonist, Chantal, on a mission to shed a whopping 200 pounds. That's like losing a whole adult human being. Impressive, right? But hold on to your hats, because there's a twist. Enter Mr. Pee Pee Poo Poo Graper, who apparently made a bet that involves bodily functions and Chantal's newfound weight loss journey. Classy. Now, I don't know about you, but betting bodily fluids on someone's weight loss seems like a recipe for disaster. And poor Kybella, caught in the crossfire of his lovely wife's quest to reach that magical number on the scale. Because, you know, nothing says romance like peeing and pooping on your significant other for hitting a weight loss goal. Ah, true love in the digital age. But here's the kicker. Guntel, that's Chantal for the, the uninitiated, isn't exactly known for her zen-like approach to criticism. In fact, she's more like a powder keg just waiting for someone to light the fuse. So when someone suggests hitting the gym, it's less thank you for the motivation and more how dare you question my lifestyle choices. And let's not forget the binge and rage cycle. Because nothing says progress like devouring a whole pizza in one sitting, followed by a fiery tirade against anyone who dares suggest you might have a problem. It's like watching a train wreck in slow motion. You can't look away, but you also can't believe what you're seeing. So here's to the spectacular binge and rage bees that's inevitably headed our way. Popcorn anyone? Because this drama train is about to make a pit stop at the park for some workout shenanigans. And who knows, maybe Mr. Pee Pee Poo Poo Graper will make an appearance. After all, nothing says I love you like bodily fluids and a weight loss goal. Ah, the romance. Nice shaded area just to uh, have a little rest, finish some coffee. It's not that hot today. It's not hot at all, actually. It's nice and windy. I love it. You know, I haven't had any sugary drinks since starting this new lifestyle. You know, it hasn't been that long. But uh, yeah, uh, I find my stamina is already so much better. I used to huff and puff and sweat just walking to the car from the apartment. And I remember complaining, you know, that, you know, park close because um, the, even the car was parked too far away. So this is amazing. And this is definitely motivating me to keep going every day that I have a successful day and wake up and think, where can I go walking today? So it's, it's very motivational and I hope that I'm helping some of you as well. Let's do this together. I know a lot of people need to get healthy. Yella. Our girl Chantal is prancing around Kuwait like she's the damn queen of the desert, showing off her healthy diet and mall walks like it's some kind of exotic adventure. But let's cut the crap, shall we? Her mall walks are about as thrilling as watching paint dry and her claims about Kuwaiti malls being fresher and creamier than Canadian ones? pure bullshit. We're not buying it, Chantal, and let's talk about her trusty pedometer app. You want proof of all that walking? Uh, well, tough luck, because she's more likely to win a Nobel Prize than actually show us the receipts. And her sidekick, Shitface? Don't even get me started. Four hours to edit a crappy reaction video? That's four hours he could have spent doing anything else, like, I don't know, literally anything else. But let's not forget the real reason Chantal's channel is circling the drain faster than a turd in a toilet bowl. Sala. This guy's online dev spades are about as impressive as a wet fart. Um, and Chantal's decision to go crawling back to him? Well, let's just say she's not exactly winning any awards for intelligence. 
So, while Chantal continues to live out her delusions of grandeur, the rest of us will be over here prepping supper and trying not to choke on the overwhelming stench of her BS. Cheers to living vicariously through the train wreck, my friends. And here's hoping Chantal's next adventure involves a one-way ticket to reality. So the, in this section of the park, there's actually some outdoor gym equipment of sorts. So we're gonna try some out. Let's see, I think this one is for sit-ups and push-ups. Yalla. No, I can't. I don't think I can do this one. I can't do this one with my abaya. <laughs> Our girl Chantal is teetering on the edge of obesity, like a beach ball with legs. I mean, she's just a few inches away from being classified as an obese midget. And yet, her loyal viewers seem to be blissfully unaware of the fact that she's basically one deep-fried Twinkie away from a heart attack. But let's talk about the real reason behind her manic video posting spree. Money. Honey. It's all about those dollar bills, y'all. See, Chantal rushed back to Kuwait faster than a speeding bullet because her bank account was looking as empty as her promises to Salad about managing her health. And you know what they say. Desperate times call for desperate measures. So she's cranking out videos like there's no tomorrow, hoping to rake in some cash before she settles back into her usual routine of mukbangs and mayhem. But let's not forget about Salad, the poor sap who's stuck footing the bill for Chantal's laundry list of obesity-related problems. I mean, he wanted her to get her shots squared away for free in Canada, but nope. She had to go gallivanting back to Kuwait like a moth to a flame. Now he's stuck with her fat and all the costs associated with it. So, she's really going to show she's serious about losing weight this time. Sure, Jan. So, while Chantal continues to spin her web of lies and excuses, the rest of us will be over here laughing our asses off at the sheer absurdity of it all. Cheers to Chantal, the gift that keeps on giving and gaining. Someone put lettuce in his hair. <laughs> Come here, lettuce head. Oh, good lettuce head. <laughs> Is it good? You like the bread? You like it? Oh, you're a good person. So we just fed a pony and some deer. Now we're going to feed some ostrich. Do you guys want to see my impression of an ostrich? Hi. Hi. <laughs> You're so cute. Yeah. Chantal has a knack for memory holding her past indiscretions faster than you can say train wreck. I mean, who could forget the diabetes diagnosis that got overshadowed by her encounter with an STI afflicted crackhead? And just when you thought it couldn't get any worse, she gets involved with his elderly house mother, leaving a trail of destruction in her wake. But wait, there's more. She tops it all off by marrying a complete stranger with a penchant for sliding his undesirable attributes onto Canadian soil. Classy. But here's the kicker. Chantal's current situation is so dire, even the most skilled memory holder would struggle to sweep it under the rug. I mean, we're talking actively dying levels of bad. Her chins are, are practically strapped to her face like a weird post-surgery face cast, and her belly is dragging her off couches and mall chairs like a scene straight out of a horror movie. And let's not forget about her dear husband, the one who has some unsavory wishes and an odd affection for inanimate objects. Yeah, that's not the kind of thing you can just forget about, no matter how hard you try. It's like a stain that just won't come out, no matter how much bleach you throw at it. So, where does Chantal go from here? Well, 
let's just say she's got a long way to fall before she hits rock bottom. 